Right, now I've got a couple of slides for you um, about uh, uh, whole life carbon specifically aimed uh, at you guys as energy assessors. <clears throat> so what, what I thought I would put in um, is five main issues or themes that I think you need to be aware of as energy assessors. Um, these are things that you can uh, talk to your client about. Um, and I think what you will find is that clients or design teams that you're working with will more and more start to ask you questions about this. Um, so it, it would be very helpful for you to be equipped uh, with the knowledge uh, to, to sort of address their, uh, their questions and concerns. So firstly, and perhaps most importantly, is that you need to be aware of trade-offs. Um, so it is not the case um, that lower operational carbon will be the same or will lead to lower embodied carbon. Uh, in fact, it may even be the other way around, uh, that lower operational carbon may lead to higher embodied carbon. Um, so as an example, uh, what I've put together is a, a bit of a comparative um, life cycle assessment, uh, of just quite simply of four different um, PVC glazing products. Uh, the products that I've chosen all come from the same manufacturer. This manufacturer has good data regarding the uh, A1 to A3 embodied carbon emissions. Uh, so they have EPDs. Um, two of these products are double glazed and two of them are triple glazed. Um, as you would expect, the triple glazed products have uh, better U values and, and the U values are, uh, are shown by the green dots. Um, the, uh, the, the double glazed products, of course, have, uh, have higher U values, um, but the blue bars are showing the, uh, the embodied carbon, which, as you probably have guessed, uh, is lower for the double glazed products because uh, there's, uh, of course, fewer materials required per meter squared. Um, and the emissions are higher for the triple glazed products, so products three and four. So what that means is that you have a trade-off. It also means that you have um, a carbon payback period. Uh, so that is to say, although the triple glazing requires or will release more carbon into the atmosphere in its production, it of course will save operational carbon over its lifespan. 